Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to the Here, There, Everywhere show. And here is your illustrious host, Magnum Mag. Good evening, ladies and germs. We're here. We're there. We're everywhere. Now, here's what's going on where you are today. Want to know what star sign you have? No. Mystic Maya is going to shed some light on the many mysteries of witchcraft and paganism. More on that later. Tonight's mystery piece of the show, the so-called mysterious girl. Just, just, who, just who is she? Seriously, well, no, well, we know genuinely nothing about her. Certainly more on that later. For our fashion piece tonight, the Queen of Mean gives you the full rundown of fashion accessories and makeup. Mr. Tumble gives his usual belly full of laughs, as always, this evening. Hello, everybody! Mr. Bumble here! Mm, 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 mm. Hot! Hot! Some serious slapstick in the works there. And finally, our weekly quiz, hosted by the man himself, is David! Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have a Question for you. Hold that thought, David. All those uh, the stories are happy to be messages. Hear that everywhere show. A flying saucepan has been seen over Hadfield. Onlookers commented, We were worried hot sauce would fall on Sparrow Park again. Local man John Smith claims to have made a new time machine from a toothpick and a packet of gum. His neighbour, George McIntyre, said, Ridiculous! Ridiculous idea! He should have used a phone box instead. Sinkhole has opened up and swallowed the whole White House, engulfing Donald Trump. I guess Trump is in a whole load of trouble. Next! Move on! In other news, Nothing is going wrong right now. Boris Johnson denies eating the last j jammy dodger. <laughs> A man living without the internet for four weeks has said, This is intolerable. What's the password? show. Do you want to know a, about your star signs and the nature behind um, pagan magic and the occult? Well, t t tonight's um, story features a certain mystic Meg who uh, specializes in all kinds of things. Let's go live and have a talk. Thank you. On this week's Mystic Manor, we are going to focus on what the soul of each star sign sounds like and what mystical creature you are. Aries, your soul sounds like a roaring fire and your mystical creature is the werewolf, so watch out on the next full moon. Taurus, your, your soul sounds like leaves in the wind and mystical and your mystical creature is the Greek centaur. Gemini, your soul is like birds chirping and you are a graceful shapeshifter. Cancer, your mystical creature is a mermaid and your soul echoes the sound of waterfalls. Leo, you're a powerful demon with a lion's roar. Virgo, your soul, your soul comes deep as you fly like an angel. Libra, although you sound like heavy rain, you, you're still as delicate as a tiny black fairy. Sagittarius, you're, you're a beautiful ghost and your soul sounds like a peaceful wind chime. Capricorn, you may be a small elf, 
but your soul thunders loudly. Aquarius, your soul sounds like calming piano, but you're a fiery dragon at heart. And Pisces, your soul sounds like children laughing joyously, yet you are a cunning loser. That's all for this week. See you next time. Gee, well, 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 it um, seems like my star sign may be an Aries. You know me, just a fierce wolf howling at the moon. Oh, oh, oh. Well, from the, from the world of fashion now, from the one to hear the be best tips on how to look your best during lockdown, then look no further. At the, from the here, there, and everywhere show, here's presenting the queen of me. I'm real me, I'm an ID, and I guess so. Guys, I will. Ha 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 ha! And from Heather, the Queen of Mean, is a nine. The bubble is a very hard one, because it's a man. The Queen of Mean gives Mr. Bumble and Mr. Marley a 10! I do they wear all times. They do they in the usual. And Heather, the Queen of Mean, is going to give that a Super 7! The man is the good the good man. And that's an eight from Heather. The Heather and Everywhere Show. Coming up next, top ten tips on, on how to be the coolest man, man in the room from the coolest man in the universe. He's the last of the Time Lords, the oncoming storm, the great scourge, the man, the one. He's Doctor Who! from aboard the TARDIS just on my way to take Bucky to the market on Shallow Rank. Hello, greetings from well, wherever in time and space the docks taking me today. Beautiful, I've got all sorts of food, thousands of different alien species. Um, anyway, I have picked up a list uh, from Agent McCreff I can already tell this is going to be a barrel of laughs. Ah, yes. Top tips for being cool. Did the doctor write these? Now, yeah, be sure to listen up. Um, number one, be as kind and understanding as you can. Very important. Yeah, just don't be a douche. You don't want to spark a volatile situation, so just keep it cool. You don't know what's going on inside people's heads. Two, don't tie your laces, tuck them in. I won't do it if you're wearing boots. Otherwise I'll rub. And it'll start to chafe. Number three, unless you're doing a practical activity. Unless you're running a lot. Because otherwise, I've had it before. 
So you pop out your trainers, and then you get your feet tangled up. Not fun when you're trying to run from bob monsters. Safety first, fun last. Don't tell your friends you're thinking safety first, fun last. God, he's just an absolute idiot. My idiot. Five, being individualist. Don't just surrender to what everyone else does. Yeah, this is basically just, just don't be a sheep. Yeah, very important. Stand out from the crowd. Do your own thing. Six, don't put limits on yourself. Well, don't let anyone put limits on you. Not you. Not yourself. Or anyone else. Because when you put your mind to it, you can do anything. I mean, I should know I ran at a big purple space grape with nothing but a rifle. Seven. Walk around with a speaker playing Gangster's Paradise. I've never even heard of that. Early 21st century... You'll be on wireless speakers now, won't you? Yes. Use macho or individual hand gestures. But not rude ones. It's sign language. Um, that's always cool. Or wear a fez. God, he's just an absolute idiot. Very important. Wear a fez. He kept saying it was cool, flashing it. And prancing around with it. And, and I just shot it. Right off his head. Nine. Just be lazy. Don't try too hard. I mean, obviously, you know, put some effort into it, but not so much that people think you're like, oh yeah, he's definitely just going all out. Ten. Smell nice. Don't be stinky. Like the month, smell like petrol and charred circuitry. That's what you get for working weekend on the TARDIS. I think we've arrived. Um, that'll be it for me. Yeah. Hold on. I think the doc's calling me. See ya. Hear that everywhere show. All right, and our next feature of, the, of tonight uh, the, is the man, uh, the, the, the man himself, the master of the quiz. It's Dave, the quiz. Welcome back, folks, to more quizzing questions. Well, thank you very, very much, then, Dave. And what, what, what is tonight's great question? Do tell. Well, what do you call a crazy duck? Um, a crazy duck? Right. Um, well, it beats me, Dave. Uh, how would I, that I apply to an answer? Well, Magnum, it's 0800, 0800, get ripped off. For every 30 seconds, it costs £10. And remember, the, 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 the one of you lucky, lucky people who gets the right answer will receive tonight's star prize. Hear that everywhere show. Well, sadly, we've come to the end of part one. But don't go anywhere, and keep an eye open for part two on the horizon.